What's up, everybody? Um, it's late. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. My setup is terrible. Uh, it is what it is. Um, however, with that being said, I'll probably satisfy some <laughs> some of my female viewers uh, tonight in talking shit about men um, and the problems I see in men today. If you give me a second. Now there's a number of problems in men. Um, yes, I'm going to be drinking and smoking. It's relatively late. I've been working my ass off. Uh, forgive me for that. Um, a problem in men is the... For sure the need for competition now competition can be healthy in ways you know it can motivate you it can it can strive you to be more um absolutely you know some of the best things i've accomplished in life are um because of healthy competition you know like you know i'm gonna beat you and they try to beat me then i try to beat them and we go back and forth and um at the end of the day, we both uh, we both end up better. Um, sometimes that can work well. the The problem with that is that a lot of men today I, I, I see this from time to time, um, and it's very detrimental to their life is that they think they're better than everyone. It's a it's an ego driven thing. They they have such a want and a need to show that they're better that they're actually hurting themselves. Um, and I see this like when when I talk about Mingtao and stuff um, I see this with a lot of the incel guys that think because you know I, I really don't understand the mindset of, uh, of it but for sure they do think that they're better than everybody like you know they're over here they can't get women they can't get pussy they can't they can't do anything but yet they think because they're good at computers they're God's gift to the earth, or they think because, you know, they read Lord of the Rings, they're God, <laughs> I'm just making shit up here, because they read Lord of the Rings, they're God's gift to the earth, or these are, these are the beta males pretending to be alphas. Um, I think those are the worst type of males. Uh, a beta male that will understand he's a beta and, and just recognize that he's not a leader by nature, not a an alpha male. It, it, like those are tolerable. I will, I will deal with that. I can deal with that. Everyone can deal with that. Like yeah, you know your place. I think the the worst. Stop it! Can you please? Cats are going crazy. The worst type of male is a male that thinks he's better than everybody else, but he's not. Um, and from personal experience, that is uh, for sure my childhood. A male that thought he was better than everybody else, but really at the end of the day, he was better than nobody. Um, and when I see that, it, it really makes me... Uh, well... You know, it doesn't make me angry or jealous or anything, but it makes me sad for them because I, I think about what are you losing out on. And at the end of the day, when I when I see it now, uh, what they're losing out on is male camaraderie and, and, and companionship uh, and friendship and, and all that. Because... Um, there's not going to be a healthy male or a well-off male that's willing to deal with somebody that's always trying to ego trip or ego jerk off. No, 
no one in a correct mind frame wants to deal with that. Like, I don't, every time I talk to you, I don't need to hear about why you think you're better than everybody else or why you think, uh, you know, you don't need this and you don't need that. Um, again, I see that in MGTOW videos all the time. These guys that are literally mentally masturbating about how they're better than everybody else. But at the same time, they have nothing. Um, what are you doing with your life? What are you succeeding with? Uh, you're succeeding with fucking whinging about everything in life. Well, I, I'm pretty guilty of that too, but you know, you're, you're not you're not accomplishing anything. You're not moving forward. You're not self-improving your literally just sitting here bitching about everything in life and pretending to be better that makes you <laughs> literally the biggest bitch I know actually um, but it's sad to me because I know people in their 30s 40s 50s that shit 60s 70s that are still in that mindset of I'm better than everybody. I'm better than everybody. You know, I can't I can't go out in public because I'm better than everybody or what whatever it may be, but at the end of the day they're left lonely and 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 unfulfilled. Um, you know, you need somebody to be able to go have a beer with, uh, or you know talk shit with or, or watch the fight with or, or you know talk about women with that's just male camaraderie uh, whether that guy is better than you or not is inconsequential it does not matter you can have friends that you don't have to be superior to you can have friends that you don't have to always be in competition with you can have a discussion that doesn't always have to end in someone being right or wrong. Um, just have a friend. Well, we disagree with them. Say, okay, well, I disagree. That's the end of it. Uh, you think that way, I think this way. It is what it is. Still love you, bro. Let's go have a beer next week. Um, it doesn't have to be this insanely ego-driven competition that I see him in. Now, I, I love the fact that masculinity is competitive. I love to compete. But at a point, you gotta let go of that. Like, to an extent, like, you can't, you can't hold sustainable relationships with men or women or family or anything when you're constantly in competition about who's better, who's worse. Um, it doesn't make sense. Now, me by nature, maybe genetically, I'm not sure, maybe my mindset, whatever. Um, I don't really try to compete with people like that. Like, yeah, I'll see stupid shit happen. And I'm like, well, that was dumb. And next week I'm fine with you or next day I'm fine with you. I don't care. Like, you know, you made a stupid decision. You're fucking human. It happens, right? Um, but these guys, these are the type of guys that I see that, like, they'll have no male friends. Um, you know, they, they don't have a friendship network to fall back on if relationships fail or, or, or life gets them down or their job, whatever. They don't have any network to fall back on. These are the type of guys that, that latch onto a woman codependently as a source of purpose and meaning and ultimately that fails of course um, it's it's not a sustainable way of living it's not a healthy way of living you need multiple networks as a human being you need you know yeah yeah you can have your girlfriend your wife whatever your family but you also need your friends because what happens when you know your family dies and your girlfriend leaves or whatever your kids leave with the wife whatever you need people to go to people to to camaraderie with that um 
understand you and get you and and, and y'all come back and forth about different shit. Um, it doesn't even have to be that often, uh, you know, just every once in a while. But um, you need that as as a human being. You need that human network. Um, but anyway, getting back into it, uh, these guys, I, I see them all the time, and they're so ego driven and so like narcissistically driven into that they're better than everyone. They're like, oh, I can't, I can't just go to the bar. That's where, that's where all the plebs and peons go. I can't, I can't go out in public. That's where all the other people go. Look, I don't like going out in public that much either, but you know what? You're fucking human. You, you have to interact with society at some point. You have to understand society at some point. If you're so ego fucking driven that you can't even interact with people, where's your life going to lead? Like, it's not going to lead you into any friendships. It's not going to lead you into meaningful family relationships. It's not going to lead you into uh, successful romantic or sexual relationships. Um, <laughs> you you can't. I mean, this is narcissism. This is narcissism to a D. You can't run around thinking you're God. Um, really, at the end of the day, you're gonna die alone. And I see too many people that are highly intellectual doing it. Like they're very very smart people, but it's almost like they're they're so smart that they can't understand. Stupid. You you have to be able to understand stupid. To some degree. Like, you know, understand why stupid people are stupid. Understand, you know, how to interact with stupid people. Understand how to be nice to stupid people. You don't have to be God. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to jerk your ego off and prove that you're better all the time. Um... It just seems like such a lonely end, you know, to 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 think that you're this god figure, uh, and then you know only find out that you're completely alone and have no friends and nobody cares about you. Well, you know the reason why nobody cares about you and nobody wants to put up with you and nobody wants to deal with you is because of that exact behavior, exactly what you've been doing this entire time. No one wants to put up with that. You know, everyone wants to be treated as an equal. No one wants to be treated as a fucking peon or a pleb or whatever the fuck I was saying earlier. You know, we're all people. There's no... <laughs> whatever fucking makes you think that you're better than somebody else, they're better than you in something else, you know. I might be better at fixing cars. You could be better at art, music, uh, you know, chemistry, fuck, you name it, whatever, you get my point. We're all good at different shit. Um, doesn't mean that anybody's less than anybody else. Um, these, these guys that walk around with their air of superiority and ignorance, really, um, I don't get it, and it makes me sad, and I know that they're going to end up alone, and What can I say? Uh, that's my dig at men. Stop fucking, stop ego jerking all the time. Like, just jerk your dick, not your ego.